This is really the fighter and the kid. Come on, baby. So we're getting skanky at the end of September. Skank oh, you're fest. just gonna kick off. Oh wow, yeah. we're just talking about it. You're we're just, just talking about it. it. I, I like keeping the conversation going. As it if feels more. There's authentic. no cameras. Well, we're gonna yeah, be. It's, it's official. The boys, the fire and the kid, are joining the Legion of Skanks at Skank Fest. That is September 29th through October 1st. I'm excited. I'm actually excited about hanging with those guys and doing it. Big J's uh, special. We were talking about it again. You, you haven't Dog seen Valley. it. I'm telling you, you got to watch He's it. He's so funny. I'm, and you know, you watch specials. I don't watch a ton of specials, but Big J's the other day was on. It was, it was retweeted so many times on my Twitter feed. Yeah. I was like, all right, let me fucking, I'm brushing my teeth. Dude, yeah. it's so good well he's it, so funny yeah i'm telling you they name him better special this year i'll wait chris rocks not even close what i did today is after watching adesanya pull off that heroic event i was like i got inspired and you I jacked woke up. it hard to him i just well of course but i woke up and i was like you know time for me to be a champion but then i told you with my help you could get knocked out i could get knocked out yeah. the problem is that I'm going to be a champion. I don't know how to apply that heroic well, It's behavior. like that Raul, Raul Jr., that Rosa Jr., he, you know, he's 18. Yeah. And he was like, I'm going to be champion under a year. Oof. There's nothing wrong with that. No. Because everybody who gets to the UFC thinks of me world champion. That's yeah. why you get to the he's UFC. He's just a kid, though. But the people around him should go, hey, I wish somebody did this to me. Right. After my second pro fight, Luke Thomas, that's how I met Luke Thomas. He's interviewing me. He goes, what's next? I go, Josh Barnett, Frank Mayer. And he goes, interesting <laughs> <laughs> and hey, then off camera he was like no hey dude you got it like you're yeah you have a ton a of potential slower. let's chill like luke was that guy who was like let's chill yes my coach was like no let's get to luke the thomas top. is great the best yeah smart but so for rosa jr he like his team should be like we love the confidence this is fantastic chill he shouldn't be in the ufc He's too young. He's 18. 18. He's, you can see how talented he is. Now, Max, but, remember, Max Holloway came when he was 18, 18, 19, I think. He's yeah, champion yeah. by, I think, 20. Yeah. So there's the exception, but then. The don't, don't rule by the exception. Though. No. the Yeah. Because also, people are so good now. They're doing everything right. He's good, too, but yeah. he, his striking is nowhere near a professional level, let alone a UFC contender level. I didn't know that. I can't see that. N nowhere near. He, I think he threw. 18 punches total in the in 15 minutes three of them landed yeah and then his grappling it's not like he's an outlier like a you know bryce mitchell or khabib or bo nickel so if no. that's your thing you better be so exceptional at it yeah in order to get over the hump of the other strikers but he's not there yet and it's all good dude yes. you're 18 it's all good yes time to just develop but two you, years but you at 64 years old yeah. we teach you some wrestling yeah Bro. well now, now, don't say Let me teach. find out 115. Brush up on my wrestling and add to my already. I, I forgot you wrestled in high school. Dude, we just already dust off the old yeah. singlet. Wrist control. I know how to relax. I'll get you. I take your back. I can crab ride. I Dude, do a lot I, of shit. That fight I'm companion, heavy. that fight, that Cowboys fight companion, I was yeah. laughing so hard. Driving home, I was laughing at Sam. This morning, I woke up laughing at Sam. I like Izzy's tattoos. It's just, we're just all <laughs> having fun. Loves. It, it, we're just I all didn't having know how fun. To respond. And then we're dead like, serious. Dead serious. He goes, God, I love Izzy's tattoos. And then it's 30 seconds of silence, which is usually frowned upon on a well, podcast. You just went, you went, and I just go, silence. Silence. <laughs> yeah. I have the clip, Jen. Do you have the clip? Yeah. It's so fucking funny. It's very funny. Because the, the, what makes it funny is Sam is so sincere. It's just well, like, no, Sam is also Oh, I love joke. those tattoos. Sam's, yeah. Sam's a high level. Oh, Izzy's tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> Just dead silence. Yeah, Sam's the best, man. I think if I fought in the UFC, I'd have to suck down at 115, and that's what's annoying to me. 115 fight females, yes. Yeah, that's what annoys me because I'm looking at Cheeto, and I'm like, it's... it's See, this is what I'm going to talk to you about. What about, um, what about Slap Fight League? Slap Fight League, I don't I, have... I feel the, like we uh, can get you a deal with Slap No, fight. I don't have the uh, face for it. Place well, let's fix my hair there. But anyway, <laughs> Dude, um, I love Izzy's tattoos. They're so awesome. Look at everyone. Silent. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really know how to respond. Comedians. <laughs> just comedians. Just everywhere. Comedians. <laughs> Feeling each other out here. I felt real sincere. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
How about Cheeto, like hanging with all of us with no problem? I couldn't see that. <laughs> that felt like the gayest thing of the show. I didn't know what to do without, right. without sounding racist. I had nothing. I was to all, yeah, they're cool. I was like, I can't, can't see him. Like a big go to the head of his back. <laughs> Look how hard Sam's laughing. That's the hardest I've ever seen Sam laugh. There it is. Very, very. Uh, <laughs> Brian, change the subject. Brian just missing the boat here. <laughs> Sam's soul. Oh, it came from yeah, Sam's well, soul. Jeez. Yeah, me and Cheetah were like back in the fight. You guys were dying. By the way, look at Bayer's leg, a little red. <laughs> what do you mean, I Sam? Just laugh at everything in my life. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the reason why Cheetah fits in so well is because he's he's not trying to uh, one up guys. You know, he knows there's uh, symphony there, and he's not trying to jump in with the fucking trombone. He's great. That's why he's great. That and he's funny himself. He's smart, fucking great. funny, special. Love Cheeto. Yeah. He's awesome. Yeah, you said uh, off here, you're like, that guy's going to do big things outside, Doctor. I'm like, 100%. That's why when I'm not throwing shade on him, hopefully it didn't come off like that. But when he's like, yeah, hopefully when I'm done fighting, I want to open up a coffee shop. I'm like, yeah, coffee I franchise. Would, I would set your your goals a little higher, my man. We, yeah. We'd open one right now, Daddy. He's you know? one of those guys who's going to be successful at anything he touches. Everyone loves Cheeto. Yeah. He's such a good person. <clears throat> Everyone fucks him. Just him. smart and funny, and confident. Really, yeah. He likes that danger, too. Like he was saying, he goes, if there was a if there was something out there that was dangerous, I'm doing it. Like that's just a mindset. Some people mm. just have that daredevil mindset. That would not be me. I'm a cautious fella. You're cautious. You behind the boys, right? And you get your lips ready, boys. kitty cat. Because after the fight, you sung it off. Well, I was wrong about Izzy, wasn't I? Well, my heart wanted Izzy, so I I couched it no, that way. No, if your heart wants Izzy, you don't put money on the on the his opponent <laughs> piece of shit. Well, nobody's ever done what he did. It's important to realize that no one, no the, one has ever lost three in a row and come back. Special. I just want to show you this, just so people know I'm not bullshitting here. Let me show you this. So I was so confident, is he gonna finish? This is Izzy to get it done under two rounds via knockout. Thousand pace, ten grand. We're going to Sizzler. Damn, you made some money. Whatever. It's, it's, but the point is, it's, it's not about the money. The point is, is that you just knew. I just. Can I be honest with you? Can I, when you took Izzy, to be honest with you, I thought you were doing it to be theatrical, and I thought you were no. doing it because you love Izzy. Like no. I thought, I was like, okay, he's. he's I am gonna, biased. I do protect yeah, uh, guys that I like or have a relationship with. I do always yes, ride hard yes. for. But this one, like, if you just look at the tape and you have any sort of background fighting, you're like, man, if Izzy just tweaks a few, I know he's zero and three. But if he just tweaks a few things there, especially in MMA, he sh there's no reason he shouldn't beat this guy. Huh. Now, to assume he was going to knock him out, a little far-fetched, but also in that first fight, 10 more seconds, that fight's over in the first round. Yes. So is he, he, he comes from the uh, great camp, probably the best camp. Hands you could argue best that. Camp. You yeah, could argue we that. We could definitely argue it. Yeah. So his team been, having to be able to watch that footage, realizing he was up on the scorecards, almost got a finish. Dude, to pull off the rope a dope Do you think he pulled the rope a dope off because his leg was getting such a beating? Or was that, I'm going to bring him in like he did last this time, get him confident, about yeah, the game plan. catch, catch, bang, bang. Yeah, the game plan was get Alex Pierre to open up, throw multiple combo yep. shots to open up for the knockout. There it is. And that was beautiful. Because you could see him literally roll, roll, bang, You're like, what bang. is he doing? Wham! Yes. And he was just tight. Because there's a certain uh, distance there where Pierre's the most dangerous man in the world. But when he's in real tight like that, then Izzy can His hands come off. down. Yep. Yeah. That was Brilliant. so amazing. And also very risky. Very risky. But that heavy lies but the crown. That's heavy lies the crown. That's why he's a champion. And that's why he is going to go down as, as the GOAT or one of the GOATs. For sure. I think you could label him the GOAT now if you wanted to. Overall? Oh, no. I'm saying the uh, middleweight GOAT. Oh, yeah. Over Anderson. Anderson's reign is a little what, different. What about Anderson and him in their prime? <sighs> it's tough. It is tough. Because I, I, Izzy's faced tougher competition. It's just, that, but that's not a knock. That's why greatest of all time is stupid to talk about. Right. Izzy's the greatest middleweight of all time in in current times. But back then, Anna Silva was by far, bar none, the greatest of all time. Yeah. And then also, the only knock here too, I hate to do it, Anderson has some PD issues. Mm -hmm. So there's that mark on him. The level of competition for Izzy's a little higher. Also, Anderson Silva... Lost to Chris Weidman, never got the belt back. Izzy sure. lost, and it's sure. unheard of. Not only did he get the belt back, but he knocked the dude it's unconscious. Crazy. It's crazy. And not to mention, 
uh, they the reason Alex Pierre was there is because Izzy was so dominant. Not only has he beat the guy, every guy from one to five in the middleweight division, he's beat most of them twice, convincingly twice. Correct. So they had to Correct. go, what are we going to do? Oh, there's that guy who beat him in kickboxing. Hey, are you doing MMA? Yeah, I just took one. Dude, get one more. We're signing the UFC. They fucking zip line this giant Brazilian monster to the front of the row. And Izzy's like, this guy didn't earn it. Like, nobody beat Sean Strickland. Izzy's like, who gives a fuck? The UFC's like, we do. You need a competition. <laughs> And rightfully so, because they made a ton of money. That's why. But, so they they beeline this, and it's not because now could he beat anybody else in the top ten? Maybe I'm not going to shame the guy coming off a loss, but it, they've been way tougher fights for him. No, he gets to skip all that just to get to Izzy because Izzy's so dominant. And then he beats Izzy because he's Izzy's Achilles heel. Izzy's zero and three. You fuck. And zero and three knocked out all three times. I believe. No, no, no. no lost one decision, two knockouts. Yes, two knockouts. Two so, knockouts is huge, though. Awful. I mean, awful, it's huge. dude. So he's your Achilles heel. He's the worst matchup. You beat everyone so bad that to go find a guy who would prefer a kickboxer to fight you and fucking get him to the fucking clear pass line at the airport to get to you. I don't think people and realize. they do it. He yeah, loses, but. And then he knocks them out. Well, I don't think people realize what, what a knockout does to you psychologically, too. Somebody knocks you out twice. You feel that so deeply. That's, like, terrifying. But it, the, the one in the past is whatever in kickboxing. The recent one in That's MMA? That's insane. Now, granted, it was a TKO, not a knockout. Yeah, but and it was still. an early stoppage. But still, still. And the problem is you're, giving, that, you're giving that guy all he can handle for four and a half rounds, and then he was still able to win? You're like, what the fuck? And is he beat those odds, dude? Now, I know... Vegas had him as a slight favorite, which I agree with, because again, to a trained eye, you're watching like, man, if Izzy just tweaks a few things here, he should beat him nine times out of ten. Yeah, that was the one time he beat him. Yeah, Alex is new to MMA. People forget. He's now here's seven what I fights. think. That's yeah. Here's what I think. And he's gonna. Here's the thing that Alex Piera, I like the guy. He's a really good guy too, dude. He's gonna dominate light heavyweight. D -d 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 yes. Triple D he does, dominate. He does have Triple D like your mom's tits. That Uncle Iev guy is a wrestler, and that might be a okay, lot of problems. Don't be a party pooper. <laughs> Magomed uh, and Kalaev, you're not in this party. No. John, <laughs> maybe if you want, but Uncle Iev, you just want to wrestle? You can't get in the club, dude. This is a strikers only club. Okay, okay. All right, all right. What are you trying to do, dude? I'm just saying. This is a party where we we to, in order to get in, you got to be a pay per view seller. Well, well, you so 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 you you keep Uncle I have away from you. Go to heavyweight, Uncle. I. What? You, your business is no good here. Are they not going <laughs> to give him the fight? No, they don't want Uncle I have involved. No, they want to keep it a strikers division. Correct. Jamal Hill striker. Yeah. Jamal Hill's going to have his hands full with you know who. What'd you say? Jamal Hill's going to have his hands full with, with, the, with the Aztec warrior. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He all, he, that's what I'm saying. He's going to, he's now he had really good success, especially with the experience at middleweight at light heavyweight. He's not come that way. And that chin holds up, bro. Good luck to everybody. Good luck. Now, okay, so we'll dude, keep, yeah. so I, I'm not to mention Magomed. I'm telling you right Magomed now. Goliath, not to mention him. He's, dude, retire. <laughs> uh, Yuri, well, we, got, we got Jan. Uh, Magomed, hate, hate to do this. You love wrestling, right? He's like, yes, I love to wrestle. Cool, you're out. So we got to release you. Here's your walking papers. Yeah. But Yuri, Yuri, Piera, the poster alone yeah. will get me to make some socks extra crunchy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's exciting. It's exciting. <laughs> Because Yuri is going to be striking with him, and Yuri does that karate stuff. He does all sorts of wild shit. Yeah, just the poster alone. Yuri's going to be a nightmare for a lot of those guys. Yeah, because he's going to be he's going to be dicing your lower legs. Jamal up. Hill's going to be good. yeah. Jamal Hill's fun up there. Yeah, Alex Pierre. That that belt I can see rotating, but it'd be it'd be hard press again if we cut Magomed. Right? I hate to do this to him. Yeah, we release him. Well, we got for, Nikita Krylov. Doesn't he do a lot of no pure grappling? striker? Okay. Yeah. Johnny Walker. See, everybody else down for the party. Everybody else, we're dancing to hip hop. Mogman wants to dance to classical. <laughs> this ain't, hey, we're gonna, you know what? We're going to send you a belt door. Yeah. Hate to do this to you. You got to get a belt door. What? We can't use you. But, dude, <laughs> but Uncle Iev is there. He's a monster striker and a crazy hey, wrestler. Hey, dude, I, I know. Just let him get underhooks. I can. He just wants underhooks. <laughs> He just wants to clinch. Dude, this is a hip-hop dance. You're the weird Russian standing against the wall refusing to dance. We got to get you out but of the But how dance. do you keep the number two guy out of the mix? I know. I hate to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Now, Jerry's out with his shoulder for a whoa, 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 Jerry's out. No, he, he just he, he told Alex Spear he wants to fight. 
So, but that shoulder, they said, the, Dana says the worst shoulder injury he's ever seen. Oh, so, geez. it's when he's hot sack it. We can just picture the poster. Racket has an injury too. That's a problem. Anthony Smith, fun one. Anthony, Anthony Smith, Smith's fun Alex one. Beer, fun one. That's a fun one. Johnny um, Walker, super fun. You're telling me you wouldn't pay for Johnny Walker for Alex Pierre? I would. Yeah. Um, Paul Craig, grappler. Sorry, bro. Walker <laughs> papers. Is is Alex Pierre the highest level striker in that whole division? By far. Yeah, yeah. By far. Not even close. Yeah, Oof. most decorated. Next one close to him, but maybe Dustin Jacoby. As far as decorated kickboxing? Ozdemir has uh, got a good pedigree, doesn't he, in kickboxing? No, not compared no. to No. Was what kind of Ozdemir? Wow. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. Hey, okay. to do that to the Ma Maga Madman. No disrespect, but... <laughs> but he's you there. tickets. I know. But like he's the, get the man, give the man his due. Or you just bench him. You're like, dude, we hate to do this, but this whole Russia Ukraine thing, that's one thing. <laughs> the Russians, as we UFC, can't have a Russian takeover. Stand for. It's too he's much. like, since when? They're like, more. now. We can't have a Dagestani takeover. Until that war is over. Good. You're too good. Until that war is over, which is going to buy us about three years. Until that war is over, we're going to assist you. It's a national security issue. And then you can come back. Yeah. And then we'll come back. National security. Yeah. Got to learn some English. Dude, we just got the polls back. People don't want to see you fight because you're Russian. We hate to do this, dude. <laughs> He's like, that doesn't make sense. I, I know. Yeah. Well, Khabib could be in this corner and doing all this. You know. Khabib's retired. Yeah. But he could be in the corner and just be in there. Because they... No, know. they have nothing to do with each other. Ozdemir. What about him? Just a nasty... I mean, not Ozdemir. I mean, uh, Uncle Ev. Nasty striker. Nasty... Although, he did lose his last fight. No, it was draw. And draw. I thought he won that. I'm going to say nasty striker. I mean, definitely good. I mean, he, he couldn't be more Dagestani looking. He is from Dagestan, yeah? Or somewhere like that. Yeah, That's, Dagestan. Yeah. <laughs> hey, do I hate to do that. It's but fucked I mean, up. Can you just give the man... But he just... <clears throat> He's won so many fights. <laughs> He's like, hey, bitch, I've won one, two, three, four, five, six, that. seven, eight, nine, and my tenth was for a world title was a draw. You're going to cut me? I'm like, I do. It makes no sense. Now, Jan Blankowitz, Jan Jan Blankowitz is going Jan, to be... Jan, see Jan. Jan, Jan, Jan Blankowitz is going to be <laughs> a problem for Pierre. His wrestling is a nightmare. He likes he fancy himself a striker, too, though. He'll play that game. Yeah, he'll play yeah, that game. He'll play that game. If he's smart, Although, though, he'd probably, yeah, the same way he did against Izzy. He really didn't even test the feet on Izzy. No. He took him down. Alex Baird, just big, too, man. Those shots. I can't wait. You know? I hate to do it. I do. I hate doing that. You do, huh? I hate it. Uh, I think you yeah. might see on in the 85, I think you're going to see they're going to find a reason. They're, oh, well, here's my question. Are they going to find a reason to jump uh, the Chichen? Hamzat. Nightmare. Hamzat. Hamzat. Oh. Is he going to fight Izzy next? No, he's going to fight. He's going to fight Whitaker. He's going to fight Whitaker and Winter fights Izzy. Any other brain busters? Yeah, but then we got Whitaker. If Whitaker wins, we got Whitaker. Who wouldn't watch that? Win. Yeah, people would like Whitaker right now. He's on a win streak. He's a fantastic fighter. But him versus if he beats Ham, Hamzat, then you have Ham, the winner of that. Hamzat has hands full with Whitaker. What do you? His think? toughest matchup in the top ten. Really? Yeah. Whitaker's no joke. No joke. Good wrestling, you know. Not 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 Hamzat style, but his striking really explosive. Has a gas tank, knockout power. That Taekwondo in and out style, tough to take down. I know about it in and out tough. style, and I know about Taekwondo, so I don't need you to bring that up. <laughs> but thanks. Do you do you want to talk about Jan some more? You fucking. <laughs> I call him Jan. now Jan Blackbits. <laughs> <laughs> hey hey hey, you're not very good with names compared to you. Um, no, 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 you're Jordan the worst. Peterson. No, you're the worst. Not when it comes to fighters. No, no, you're, I'm you're just bad with general names. Terrible with names. Yeah, but when fighters, because I have to do it with yeah. you. General, if if it's Jan like Black, Z, if the numbers got, if the names got Z's in it and stuff. Oh, the Dagestani names, I don't even. I, I still have going. trouble saying, uh, Khabib Magoma, Mago Ma Nurmagomedov. Nurmagomedov. Yeah, be careful with that. Nurmagomedov. Nurmagomedov. Hey B, let's take a little break, dude, because I'm in Atlanta this Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Atlanta, Georgia, doing the Dirty Bird, baby. Come get you some this Thursday, Friday, Saturday. B, you're going to be in Austin. I'll be in Austin. Then I'm in uh, Helium, Portland, April 20th to the 22nd. 
Get your tickets. Skank Fest. Your boys are there. September 29th through October 1st. Skankfest.com. Enjoy. Yep. This episode of the Fire Kid is brought to you by BetterHelp. That's right. Getting to know yourself can be a lifelong process, especially because we're always growing and changing. Well, here's the thing. Sometimes you need a professional to talk to. Your friends, your family are not going to do the trick. You need a licensed therapist. BetterHelp can get you connected to a licensed therapist in 48 hours or less, okay? It's just way, it's not as expensive. You're not in a waiting room. It's not awkward. You can do it literally uh, from the, your phone or your computer or your Work couch. or home, wherever, man. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, like Brian told you. Designed to be convenient, flexible, suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash fighter today to get 10% off your first month. 10% off. BetterHelp. You spend so much of your time in bed. Do you understand? A lot me? of sleeping, dude. If you're on a bad mattress, it is terrible. You got to just Helix is the best mattresses on planet Earth. Here's the thing. You, you, everybody sleeps differently. Everybody has a different mattress experience, okay? How long you had your mattress? How is your sleep? Has it improved? All right. Do my kids sleep on Helix mattresses? They mattresses. sent two mattresses for the kiddos. These little dudes snooze hard. These There's a reason why they're mattresses. monsters. So Helix, you get good sleep. Helix has 14 unique mattresses, including a collection of luxury models, a mattress for big and tall sleepers like Brendan, and even a mattress made just for kids. Okay? So, how do you know it's going to work for your body? You take the Helix sleep quiz and find your perfect mattress in under two minutes, and your personalized mattress is shipped straight to your door free of charge. They also do a 100 night in a trial, dude. package. 100 Helix, night trial yeah. and then 10 to 15 yeah. year warranty, depending on the Helix sleep mattress you get. Think about that you can sleep on it for a hundred nights if you don't like it this is crazy helix is offering you guys up to 20 percent off all mattress orders and two free pillows for the listeners of fire and the kid go to helixsleep.com slash fighter this is their best offer yet it won't last long with helix better sleep starts now good night sweet friends yeah uh anyway you're heading to austin buddy heading to austin i'll see mr rogan there he's gonna take me on a little tour of the mothership Oh, you're not performing though. Maybe I Maybe will. Maybe you jump on. I don't know. That'd be good. I'd have to talk to Adam Egan about it. Maybe I will. But then you're just there. You, but you're not doing stand up. You're doing a no, TED Talk a, thing. I'm doing the Minds Fest, where I'm I'm going to be doing a podcast with Destiny. Yep, and uh, I think Tim Pool. <laughs> I know, and and uh, <gasps> and we're going to be talking about the Twitter files. Oh, dude, you're it's going exactly to be a debate. We're it's going to be a debate that. about the Twitter files. <laughs> Are you a fainting goat right now? <laughs> Come on, don't be a fainting no, goat. No, no, because I haven't heard about Twitter files. In oh, God. Hey, can you guys go over January 6th? Uh. Well, I think it's going to be a debate, though. Some people are going to say it's not so bad, and other people are going to say it is so bad. Fuck yeah, dude. I bet those tickets are... Mm. You should make merch. It's at the Vulcan. That'd be fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun, dude. Texas is calling, isn't it? Texas, Texas calling. Call. Right, we'll see. Go out there when it's hot. Let's see how it everybody goes I talk to is is talking Texas though. You know, because everybody's afraid that California is going to go just by the wayside. But they or they've said that for as, how long? They've been saying that since they've been. My father said since day one. They've been saying that since the seventies about California. Yeah, always. They've been saying that. People since hate a winner. Seventies. That's a fact. No, are we winning? Weather wise, yes. Yeah, weather wise, we are. People find their crime. Way. No, people find their way. Yeah, I don't know what the answer is. I don't know. It's a big decision. Yeah. But we weren't the kind of jump while everyone else jumped. No. But now it looks like it was a smart move for them because now that Rogan's Club's open, right? If you're a comic, it's a great wow. move. But Austin's definitely comedy capital right now. Yeah, right now. I booming. Mean, booming, you know booming. I mean? yeah. Yeah. And more so importantly, you're going to have choice. young, innovative comics gravitate toward there. So if I'm a comic, if I have a dream of being a comedy comic, you're not I'm going to figure out a way to anymore? go to... No. Yeah. I'm going to go to Austin. Now, you, there's, I think I'm right about that. I, I, don't, think. I don't know if you are because unless you're in with that crowd... Where are you gonna get up at? Cap City's headline. Well, club whenever you have, whenever you have that many clubs, you're gonna have open spots. mics. You're gonna have spots. Yeah, that's true. Because those clubs can't Rose, stay Mothership open has open mics. Yeah. I think Sundays and Mondays. Yeah. Cap City does. I don't know about Vulcan. And you're gonna have bringer shows, and you're gonna have a lot have of Red energy. Band's club. And yeah. then you're gonna have people who do it. Like Red Band has a club. You're gonna have different places to open. Those spots get stuff. open. Yeah. So it becomes this whole ecosystem. 
What if you go out there on Friday and just don't come back? See you later. <laughs> my kids would bring me back. Fire kid and Magomedov. <laughs> my, my kids would bring me back. Or they move out there. Now, we're talking. It'd be tough to uproot a 15-year-old. Oh, boy. That's, that's a tough test. Can't do it. No. All our friends. Can't do it. Your kids are too old. It's different. Mine are young where they're like, yeah, we'll make friends anyway. Yeah. Yours? No. We have real friendship? Yeah. Hey, we're leaving. I Why? Because it's fun out there. That was my whole childhood. I'm not doing that to my kids. No. Disaster. I mean, my, my, my liability is I was moved literally every year and a half. Well, that's the number one theme with everyone in prison right now. They, they didn't have a home. They jumped around. I never. I was always moved. I told you my, my aunt said, I can't believe you're not in jail or a drug addict. I said, why? Because your childhood was so chaotic. It was. It was chaotic. Just moved all the time. Ah, we're going to a different continent, you know. Say bye to your dog. Some people turn out all right, though. There's a lot I of did. kids that do that. I did. You're all right. Yeah, you just... You I mean, just... it turned to the street life. It's also not for you, right? Right? Yeah, no. 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 I was like, well, let's see. Crime? I was not going to do that. No, hey, by the way, stop. I was loved. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's true. Even I got moved around a lot. But I got still moved around a lot first class. Yeah, it was yeah. real tough. Yeah, yeah. I never went a day without being hungry, and my parents were married. Yeah. And they loved me. Yeah. And it was a good yeah. relationship, and you had good loving sisters. I had no trauma. Never went a day. The only time I went hungry was when I was wrestling. Yeah. That was my own. That, that was your my, own doing. Yeah, yeah so, so you could be in a new away. city, but at least there was love in that city. I, and they do say love is for me where to the complain, home is at. me to complain about my childhood because I moved around a lot is like a lot of college educated kids complaining about how un unfair and racist America is. Yeah, it's only racist. It's like, hey, motherfucker, you've never met a racist and you've never seen any racism. You, you, you got your education from Columbia University. Yeah, but you, you, you out of touch, motherfucker. Yeah. You, you're, but Candace Owens said it. You, think it's goes, you guys are privileged media. Americans. Yes. Shut up. You're mm -hmm. more emotional about stuff that happened than they were when it happened to them back yeah. then. Shut up. Yeah, you're right, dude. Um, Your boots would beg to differ. They've had a rough life. I'm, I'm getting older, and my workouts, I'm not able to sustain my workouts as much anymore, and it's making me angry. Time for TRT. <laughs> I gotta, I'm, I'm thinking about dude, TRT. Dude, TRT Callen, shave the head, grow the beard oh, like we talked about. Yes. You'd be a new guy. TRT Callen? And I get a we'll t-shirt that says firm? TRT Callen? Oh, that'd be My dope. next special is called TRT Callen. I'm not a bad idea. Well, well I'm, really doing, my, commit to the bit, I'm doing my testosterone. My test, if you, uh, so my free testosterone was caught up in, the, in a binding globule, globule, which means that Propecia I was taking caused me a little problem. So no more of that. How long ago was that? But my time? testosterone <clears throat> is between 650 and 700, according which to- Which is solid at your age. Yeah, Super solid. That's solid for anybody. It's not bad. But there's some other factors that go into it. Yeah. But if you're going to do it, you got to commit, you know, shave the head, grow the beard. No, he's got me thinking. Buy some new boots. Cheeto's got me thinking, I'll grow a real beard. Yeah, Cheeto looks sick when he grows the beard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it again, he fights at 35 and he's, you'd say he's thicker than I am. He's what, what, how much do you weigh I'm though? taller. How much do you weigh? 170. See, Cheetah's 150 something. Yeah, 154. That's because he's in sick shape and runs a lot. Right now, he's okay. He's not in like fight shape right yeah. now. You know? Yeah. But, you know, that's getting a, out of 135 is hard. But at 50, he's right where the, all those guys are at. And he's a smaller guy, too. Sean O'Malley's 165 laying around. So you could do it with a little help. I got old man. Oh, I saw Super Wait. Mario on uh, Saturday. What do you mean? Saw the movie Super Mario. Oh, sounds it's fucking good. With the kids? With the kids. But you know, for those movies, usually they suck if it's just for kids. Mm -hmm. But since I, well, you're older, so you really didn't grow up playing Super Mario, but they have some throwback did. things to it. It's fun for adults, too. Hell yeah. And when uh, Bowser sings uh, the Peach song, which is Jack Black, I sent to Eric Griffin, like, you need to redo this yourself and dress up as a giant thick Bowser, <laughs> and it's going to go viral. <laughs> when he sings the Peach song, dude, crush. Really? Crush. Dude, I... I it's Eric Griffin. I, uh... <laughs> I watch Love at First or Love is Blind. My 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 wife. I'm watching that. My wife watched all that. I watched when all that of black it. dude sings her a song. So cringy. No, all of it's so shit, cringy. All of it is so cringy. I, I, to me. Have you got to the I think it's episode I, I one. I can't watch it. I go, I can't watch this. Oh no, you have she to. She made me watch the Have you guy. got to episode one or two where the guy is is, is this black dude and this black girl and he's like, I finally found the one. He's pulling his pull pouring his heart and soul out on this girl yeah. and she falls asleep and he goes, Did I scare you off? And she's all 
And because he can't see, he goes. Yeah, so whenever, as I was saying, whenever I talk about like love, I always chase girls away. And I goes, didn't see that. And he goes, you, you know what I'm saying? And how, they just came around her. She's all. How about the guy that smiles? smiles? And then he goes, God damn it. It always happens and like runs out and then her friends wake her up and she's like, oh my God. <laughs> that guy was really weird and smiles a lot and he's like. Weirdo. Yeah. I'm only on episode He's three. on the spectrum. 100%. He can't read people so he's like. See, on American Idol, if they're in the, the they're cutting, they're doing the top 24 now. So yeah. they're cutting half the audience. So tonight's the final cut for the top 24. <clears throat> but there's a kid with horrible like anxiety, autism <clears throat> and he started freaking out before one of the big shows. I'm like, listen, it is what it is, but you can't have that kid go through Hollywood. Like, he's just not built for it. He's going to be a great songwriter. He, you can't have and, him go through social media. Oh, dude. Because you know that they're going to just, they're, they're safe out there. Relentless, relentless. just want, I think about these people on Love is Blind, who are, some of them have, they're not gorgeous. They, they, they're, they are regular looking people. That's what I said to my girl. I go, why would not they pick more attractive people on well, the show? They're, they're regular looking people, and you know they get the women especially get picked apart by the some of the some of women. The internet. women are better than the guys, but yeah. for the guys, like love is ugly. Apparently, <laughs> Jesus Christ. They're, they're not. Yeah, it's not, some of them you're like Jesus. They're Christ, not that attractive. Dude. There's a lot of is that white guy with just that bell pepper nose. <laughs> you're all yeah, dude. Yeah, fuck yeah, you're doing behind a wall. <laughs> 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 I didn't want to say it. a bell pepper. He's all, I just can't figure it out. I don't know what's happening. You're like, well, I do. Oh, God, that's so tough. Bell pepper. I know, knows. man. I know. <laughs> There's all kinds of problems going on. That yeah. high, those high definition cameras don't do anybody any favors. And they have close ups of their butts and you're like oh man but that, that that kid with autism on american idol he's really talented at like he's a savant playing the piano sure. and he can write music he just he's not, he doesn't sing very well at all yeah and i'm like how long are they gonna carry this kid on and get the autism it's been a fun story but this competition then last night finally they cut him is that him but as they cut him uh kid put uh but autism american idol um but tw but this year's this one oh here? no that's him up top there Aiden Boyer? Yeah, that's him. Super talented. But yeah. as they cut him, it, it was a soft hit. It was a soft blow because um, uh, Lionel Richie goes, here's the thing. Vocally, you're just not on the level of everybody else here because it's the most talented class we've ever had, which is true. He goes, but we want to write a uh, – um, Lionel Richie goes, I, I want to write a song with you. You're so good. Oh, wow. And he goes, I'm telling you, we leave here. My office is going to call you. We're going to collab on a song. So he's uh, like, it's so good cool. and bad. He's like, this is cool. That's cool. But you see him, it's like, oh, this kid should not be in no, front of cameras. You can't handle that. Just because he, you know, he now he overcame it, which is super brave. In Hollywood, as a guy who went through Hollywood, <laughs> it is so ruthless. And the other thing is, when I was younger, I was kind of cute. I was, I was up for cute guys. I was up for uh you know, it was cute guy in his twenties in a suit. I was cute, but then you see cute dad you in see his Hollywood 30s. cute, and then you get there and you go, and I would go. Every one of these guys is a little taller, a little better looking Charming, than me. Charming, yeah. <clears throat> Bradley Cooper was the classic example. Before he was famous, he was just a little taller, a little more gold, a little bluer in the eye, a twinkle in his eye, just better looking. Blue eyes, yeah. And before he was famous, if, if we were standing with a bunch of girls. They didn't notice me. Yeah. That's just the way it goes sometimes. That's Hollywood. Yeah. So These kids are learning that. But they, they told them that. They're like, you know, as far as like on stage performing, you're like, you're a great songwriter. Like right now you could sell music. Right now you have a living making music. It's just not going to be in front of the camera. Listen, you can make a fortune writing songs. There's more money in writing songs. 100%. That's it. Listen, he could kill it. That's what mm. Lionel told him. I met, a, I met a woman who thought I was gorgeous. And she was a songwriter, very successful. Blind, or she may have been. She well, I was younger, and I we had dinner, and I had my beard before I got broke gray, and mm. I had a black shirt, black jacket. Mm. I was handsome. Mm -hmm. And she said to my friend, she goes, she locked in on me, and she was a very successful songwriter, like made millions, millions, millions like, songs. You would know, yes, like wrote for the biggest acts, and she was, and I remember thinking to myself, <clears throat> you know she just missed to me just i just wasn't attracted to her but she was attractive but just you know but i remember thinking oh, i would love to be a kept man 
Yeah. Oh, be a sugar baby? Yeah, because you could see she wanted to marry me. Yeah, you can see some why some guys wave the white flag in the sugar 100%. baby. I'm like, I get it, dude. I had a cardiologist. You just wake up and me. feel like a bitch. I was a young man. I was 22, and a cardiologist said, I will be, she was 34. She goes, you can do anything you want. I'll pay all the bills and just be my man. And I was like, uh, no. Well, for like uh, for the first six months, you're like, this is so dope. And then you have like the the opening house barbecue, and your buddy's like, dude, this place is sick. How the fuck are you a four knowledge? You're like, dude, it's hurt. You yes. feel like the biggest bitch. Yes. Or they're live, like, dude, I dude, I made some smart investments. I got a lot of stuff going on. Well, my theory is that women will lose their respect for you after a while. So one of the or they just want to own you, or or they cheat on you with other high value males. Do you know that? Yeah, because that's what they're attractive to. Yeah, yeah. You're re- you're all reliable at home, and then they're working with yeah, high value sip. males. Yeah, you're and they're sip. getting you know bent over the desk. No, you might as well be a plastic fuck doll. Yeah, that's all you do is open your mouth. Can't do it. It's like those sugar babies too. It's like I God. admire guys who can do it. I don't have any respect for him. I think it'd be cool for a bit, but then it's like... I don't mean I admire that. I just... Maybe I'm saying I'm I'm a little envious of the fact that they're not competitive enough to worry about it. You would be envious for like the first week, and then once you did it, like, oh, this sucks. Yeah. Let's take a little break, B, because the NBA playoffs is here, and my Denver Nuggets are the number one seed in the West, but baby So if you want to bet on my Nuggets, do it with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. Get in on the excitement of every game with a touch of a button. New touch customers button. can bet $5 pregame money line bet and score $150 in bonus, bonus bets if your team wins. Plus, everyone can score a no-sweat same-game parlay every day during the NBA playoffs. Open the DraftKings Sportsbook app, opt in, and place the same game parlay on any NBA game. If it doesn't hit, you'll get a bonus bet back up to $10. Again, my Nuggets number one seed in the West. I think on the East, there's going to be a real battle royale between the Celtics and the Milwaukee Books. Download the app now and sign up with the code FIGHTER. New customers can take can take just $5 pregame Moneyline bet and score $150 in bonus bets if your team wins. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with a code FIGHTER. Gambling Read problem? That, call 1-800-GAMBLER. In Massachusetts, call 1-800-327-5050 or visit gamblinghelp.com. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY-467-369. Give it to In them, Kansas, man. call 1-800-522-4700. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino Resort, KS21 plus in most eligible states, but age varies by jurisdiction. Did you know that? Yes. Eligibility restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details and state-specific responsible gambling resources. <gasps> DraftKings.com. I was thinking about that the other day. I was watching True Blood. The guy owns a strip club in there. I'm like, God, that'd be cool, man. And I'm like, but to him, that's just life. And he's probably yeah. like, yeah, get those tits on my face, bitch. Yes. going to work. Yeah. And for us, we're like, oh, I'll be so sick. Like, <sighs> No, I know. It's like race car drivers. Like Some guys marry into cars, my boy. crazy money. What'd you say? Some guys marry into crazy money. Jackie Maloof, you know? Do you, do you know I know the Maloof. Yeah. yeah. So her husband, who was on Botched, uh-huh. really cool guy. I loved him. Yeah, they wanted but, to do my ears. <clears throat> oh, they did. They wanted to fix my yeah, ears. What's his name? Look him up. I'll look uh, up right now. Unbotched. I love the guy. I, I had dinner with him, and I just got along with him. He's just a great guy. James and McCall. he's Lebanese, and he's just a really successful. No, it's another name. No, ty- type in the Botched Doctors. Yeah. But uh, one guy said so he, much. He was just a good. Surgery. He was just a cool dude. I got along with you know. But he was. I remember he said something interesting. Yeah, that guy. That guy. Which one? The There's guy. Paul the the Nassif. That guy Paul right the there. Seif, right? Yeah, Paul Nassif. Doctor Paul Nassif. I loved him. Really, we, we got along great. Really cool guy. So he looks identical. Get ready. He looks identical for the, in the movie The Mask when the bad guy gets the mask. Bring it up, chin. The bad guy in the mask. The bad guy in the movie The Mask from the nineties. That's a bad picture. When he puts the no, that's him. That's how he looks with all that botox. <laughs> is he married? Is he remarried? Yeah, he got remarried okay. to a younger lady, and yeah. they have a baby together. But either way, he's uh, he was. I liked him. He's one of us. Just a cool dude. He seems great. But he said he was he was married to there he is to the Maloofs. There he is. Okay. <laughs> that's this. It? Yep. I don't know how you come up with these references. <laughs> Such an old school reference. Um, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna respond to that, but but uh, but he was because uh, of cheekbones. Yeah. But he said something interesting. He goes, he married into this super wealthy, you know, family, and he said he goes, he, he was talking about the house, and he goes, I don't know, the house is so big, I don't even. There's some rooms I haven't even been in. 
Something like that. Slight flex. It, well, no, he wasn't even saying it that way. He a makes his own bit, money. Though, right? He's a plastic surgeon. Makes his own money. But he was He's saying super famous plastic. He was surgeon. like, he was like, if you if the context was something about it's too where is it? And he goes, I don't know. He goes, I, I don't know. The house is so big. You know, he moved into that house. It wasn't his house. Yeah. And he wasn't. It, it, it was too big a house. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes you, you can story. move into a mansion. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well, he married into. Sound like he's flexing a little bit. No, he's no, like, yeah, dude, my dick's exhausted. No, no, he she's married, always like, oh, it hurts so much to do. I don't know what to do. No, he just married into crazy money. But he had money already. That's what I'm saying. So after a while, though, like it's like there's plastic surgery money, good money, and then there's that money. And I don't know. But after a certain threshold, right. there's nowhere to go. That's what I mean. All the, if like, I put you in that your house, bills you'd are be fine. like, all right. This. Well, once your bills are fine and you can make investment stuff, it's all the same. Right. Correct. And that's and then there's a different level where you're like a billionaire where you're like, you know, flying on rockets and shit and buying exotic pets. I don't know. Yeah, then you have to worry about giving it away or how to make the world a better place. I don't know. That'd be my problem. Okay. You give me a billion dollars. You know what I do? I go, okay, God put me in this position. Now I have to make the world a better place. And I would panic. No, you I do what you do what most billionaires do and go, this is insane. We're in a simulation. It's like yeah. Well, the single mother of three at Walmart doesn't think it's a simulation. <laughs> Only billionaires think we're yes. in a simulation. Yes, yeah. it's insane. Well, that's that old saying. It's like, you think you have problems until somebody punches you in the face. You think words are violence until somebody actually does violence to you. Mm. I love that in college. You know, that's the thing, right? That we your, words, your, your words are violence. To? Yeah. That, that, you know, that's a that's a woke At those thing. weird things, yeah. So, so your words are harmful so they want speech laws Mm -hmm. that's why in canada they want speech laws they want they literally want canada's a straight dictatorship now because i don't know if you realize the new laws they passed have you seen the new shit they've passed yes it's getting weird yes so so for them the argument is my words make you uncomfortable cause a physiological change in your body Mm -hmm. fair point and so therefore it's violence Mm -hmm. and and anybody who says that has never experienced Real, real violence. violence yeah okay okay getting punched in your face or kicked in the fucking head might be a little different mm-hmm. so if when when izzy was like you're a dick leave me alone that wouldn't have stopped that doesn't stop him what does is turning turning caca yeah what do you got you all righty the first one is kind of crazy. Not kind of crazy. It's super crazy. It's this 19-year-old girl who was accused of having sex with dogs okay. on camera. Okay. And like on when you fan? look at her, she's actually, she's actually att- attractive, there right? girls who are... Hold on. Go up to her. Let mm-hmm. me read the headline. Go for it. It says, Mississippi woman who's 19 accused of sex with German Shepherd is pictured with the dog after she crashed her car days before arrest. Cops say bestiality tape was recorded outside local baptist yeah. church so she apparently it was recorded outside of a church she's saying that someone forced her to do it but uh there's multiple videos and they there's a three other dogs involved as well so this is what this what happened Oof. <laughs> but this is before she was arrested though but why why would you be arrested for fucking a dog because that's bestiality <clears throat> it's illegal oh it is yeah okay that's her she's really cute i mean you can't see her there but that's her again uh, can I just say that that, that I don't approve on. of dogs, of people fucking <laughs> that dogs. But, but uh, can I say I don't approve of people fucking dogs? But I don't approve of but, but having you, her life ruined over this. So the life, dog is that's fucking, a life sentence, right? Dog's fucking her. She's not fucking. Well, that's you know what I'm saying. saying like, yes. But that's a life sentence. So that problem with social media is that your whole life is over because you had some weird fetish. But I, it, I, I get the social media backlash for hooking up with dogs. 10 years in prison like she a threat to society out. it That'd could be, be. I, I doubt it's it. gonna be she 10 won't. years she won't even do she won't do any time yeah but and it's so, tough to adopt a dog but but that's a tough one for her because that's maybe she's a little bit emotionally off either way you uh-huh. just you, you when you do this and you have her picture everywhere your her life is over and i i think that's fucked up there has to be some consequences though though but also would it would she, but it'd but be it different if she was be, raping the dog right i don't yeah, yeah so it's that, tough that's you point. know that's a weird thing but that's how i feel too like if the dog's fucking her then it's kind of like <laughs> i agree it's so different than you fucking the dog you I know what i mean it i don't know why it's so it's fucking just somebody in their butts or in their private yeah, yeah. in their vagina is different than letting somebody <laughs> fuck you yeah it just exactly. is yeah, exactly so that's if you're that's, like here's my ass you you can't if i'm like if i say hey you want to bang me you're not traumatized you have to get your dick hard and put it in traumat- my butt well it'd be pretty trauma well 
I'm just saying that I'd have to really convince you. <laughs> yeah. With my violent words. More than peanut. Butter. That dog. If I had a that gun dog looked head, happy as shit. If I had a gun in your head and I made you do it, that's different. But I'm saying that dog was into it. Most likely, I mean, the, do the dog's like, dog's hold on, to bone you're her. gonna lock her up at a great time. Yes. Right? That dog was into it. So she's saying that someone forced her, but then the investigation is still ongoing, but they think that uh, someone paid her, like, you know, like, yeah, yeah like the kinky guys paid yes. her she to do that, so she yes. was making videos for them, yes. and then the videos got leaked. God That's damn, some how, real money. It's kind of sad, because how bad do you need money, girl? You're letting this pit bull put his Well, she's wet also probably pink. into it. Maybe some yeah. people get off. I don't know. Maybe or or is a lot of money. There's I, a fr there's a friend of mine. She <laughs> her girlfriend. Here we go. Her friend go. <laughs> put peanut butter on her coochie and used to let her. I feel sick. You say coochie at your lick, age. <laughs> lick her coochie. Fainting oh, goat. No. Fainting goat syndrome. Oh, oh, oh. Fainting goat don't syndrome. Say coochie coochie her, crumpet. Oh. her crumpet. Her crumpet. Her crumpet. Her crumpet. Oh. Her crumpet. Oh. Oh, her bearded clam. At your I don't know. Age. What do I at say? Your age. <laughs> don't say Gucci at your age. What okay. are you, Gucci man? Okay. No? <laughs> oh God. I, I, I don't know. Her muff. Is who, muff what good? friend did you her have muff? that did this? Uh, I. She was friends. And back with friend. then, there wasn't even OnlyFans. She was just doing it because she's a freak. She was over at her friend's house, and her friend goes, "Watch this. Put peanut butter on her couch." Yeah, yeah friend. And her crazy. friend, my friend, was like, "Um, this is very strange." Mm. But she yeah. got off. On I, it. I bet that late, that girl could still get a boyfriend, right? Oh, yeah. You guys one, don't give a fuck. One hundred. <laughs> She's hot enough. I know. Hey guys, leave her alone, dude. She fucked the dog. Okay, <laughs> that's what'll happen. Uh, you with? Uh, don't say it, bro. Yeah, she won't get ten years. But her. I, I wonder what gives you what gets you ten years for bestiality. I think when you really, when you animal, harm an animal, if it's a guy fucking a dog. Well, when you do that, torture, worse, when yeah. you torture animals and stuff like that. But but that's not bestiality, Brian. It's sex with yeah, the animal. Bestiality. I don't think. So. I don't think even then. But if you rape a dog, that's torture to the dog. Yeah. So I would say that would be worse. Yeah. My friend was a cop in San Francisco and caught a guy fucking a <laughs> chicken go. under a towel chicken? in his car. Yes. His throat didn't make sense. He was fucking the chicken in the beak in, in the where they the where they lay eggs. eggs. And it's a desperate man. He, yes, he was fucking a chicken. Man, that is rock bottom. And my buddy <laughs> was like, I don't really want to arrest him for this. And his partner was like, We're arresting him. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't arrest him. I'm like, His life's not going. No, right, it's dude. like okay. You want to arrest him, put him in prison because he. He's already, dude. He's on the street fucking. Well, I, I eat chickens, so I I can't say that fucking a chicken is any worse. So what? if I was a chicken, I'd rather get fucked than eaten. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying, I bro? You got chin. <laughs> People fuck animals. Yeah, fuck. but I want. I do want to know what's gonna get you ten years, like the maximum prison sentence. I don't know. You want me to look it up? Bestiality prison? Nah. Okay. Nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, no, I, this is already a shadow <laughs> band. <laughs> yeah. I just, uh, all right. Georgie, couple with three kids discover their cousin after ten years. I mean, look at him. <laughs> yeah, this couple, uh, distant after, cousins. Yes, distance, distant cousins. They Fine. discovered they are cousins from about eight generations ago. Ah, big deal. Yeah, um, worth it. They went out and made a TikTok about this <laughs> to share their story. Ooh, they shouldn't have done that. Yeah, yeah that is that's dicey. Uh, yeah. I feel like that's a interesting cousin. Okay. Cousins from eight from like eight generational apart. Yeah, so far away. They did one of the tests, you know, the DNA tests to find out that. Yeah. It's like you have a Ramirez. You have a Ramirez. That'd be a little weird. But what are you gonna do? You have kids. You're like, hey, who gives? Does it change anything? Do you? But don't you have to worry about if they do have kids, if they have kids? If it's like a first cousin. Yeah, because then you got to worry about getting in touch genetic of the, and the yeah. But they said their kids are all fine. Have all their fingers yeah. and toes. It's <laughs> just genetic fun. anomalies that can have purified. Mm. I feel like if you're like from an island or something, that's very common. Like yeah. Well, so they say something to the effect of. When a kid, so you ever notice how teenagers become rebellious? Mm -hmm. They don't want to talk to their parents. Apparently, there is a there is a an, a biological evolutionary reason for that. The daughter, your daughter, the, your son hates you, you know, and, you, and they want to get the hell away from you. They want to go hang out with their friends. That would be the idea of I'm going over to that clan over there because that's that that's where the genetic variance is. Mm. If I stay within my own village. I'm gonna have sex with somebody who I'm most likely gonna be related to. Whoa! So there's an idea that I got to get all the way over there, and then when they're 25, they come back to you. Interesting. Yeah, mm. that would be the the anthropological explanation for why teenagers hate their parents. 
What else you got? All right, next one is a YouTuber. I don't know if you guys watch YouTube much, but there's a lot of prank videos. They're very popular. Oh, yeah. I hate them personally. I don't like it. Yeah, yeah I don't like them. Stuff. So this YouTuber was trying to make a prank video in a in a mall, and he kept harassing this guy. And the guy pulled out a gun and shot him. Play stupid <laughs> games, win stupid prizes. Damn. There you go. How Especially bad? in today's climate, like what are you doing? How bad is this uh, guy? So he's fine. He's gonna make he's it. Still he's gonna recover. Where did he get shot? I think uh, gallbladder. Where's the gallbladder at? Oh yeah, Oof, that's, that's not your good. Stomach. You got shot something. The stomach. Yeah, something. They say that's the worst spot to get hit. The well, your gallbladder. So much shit going on. Yeah, anymore. fuck yeah. Your and then all the toxins get out. You're harassing that guy I know. with the stewy eyes. And then he, I guess he walked up to with the phone camera and said, "Like you smell, you smell like uh, whatever. You smell bad or something like that." And then kept harassing. But what was him. the prank though? It's just doing that, bothering people. Like shock factor. Stupid. Just see yeah. what the guy's gonna do. And this guy's like. Look at my fucking haircut, dude. I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> he does look like someone that would shoot Wait, someone. Can I see what he said? Can I read it? Uh, I mean, there's no like actual, because it's just hearsay, but. Antagonizing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, targeted, har targeted, harassed, accosted, and followed. But uh, yeah, the, what I read is like he said something like, you, know, you smell and he wanted to get his reaction. Now, I don't think you should be able to just shoot people because they're harassing you. No, like they're that. both. Might be Bad. better to just punch him in the face. But yeah. also, but that not this would have never happened if that dumbass YouTuber wasn't harassing the guy. Mm -hmm. So you gotta give him a little bit of leniency there. Also, look at him, <laughs> right? Yeah. He's so Let tired. me see what the prosecution is. So up, sleepy. Mm -hmm. uh, against considering charges, Cook says he was shot by suspect. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> prosecution is trying to go after the YouTuber because he was harassing. Him. By the way, these YouTube pranksters they do a lot of shit that would. Dude, we would get in fights. I'm sure everyone here would get into oh, yeah. a fight over this stuff. Yeah. Some people put buckets over people's heads oh, no, no, randomly. No, no, no. Yeah, like, you see that well, I saw the, this kid get molly whopped on World Star. He's at Home Depot and it's this big dude. Yeah. And he like goes behind him and goes, ah, and, like slams something. The guy, he thought it was a shot, grabs the kid and just fucking Stone Cold Steve Austin slams him on the thing, knocks the kid out. It's like, I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, bitch, that's how this goes. I appreciate that. Nobody's yeah, up for your that. YouTube shit. <laughs> Yeah, I hate that stupid prank stuff. That guy, fuck around, find out. That's the picture. That's a mascot right there. Fuck around, find out. <laughs> Sleepy. Sleepy. So tired. <laughs> so <laughs> bothered he has to sleep in prison tonight. Yep. Just like, <laughs> oh, God. Uh, all right, so I don't know much about NBA, but this guy, Rudy. You know Rick the Nuggets Rudy? are number one team in the West. Hell yeah. <laughs> Did not know so that. The center from the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves, Rudy Gobert, who was also the one that got in trouble with the COVID stuff. Do you remember that? The remember doing the height of COVID? He's like, I don't worry about it. And he touched all the mics and was like, uh, he got COVID the next day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh people were furious <laughs> at him. Because so they were asking about COVID. He's like, I'm not worried about it. Was, Look at this. Look, uh, uh, <laughs> walks off. <laughs> next day, Rudy, out of the game, COVID. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> During the final game of the season on his new team, the Timberwolves, <clears throat> him and a teammate got into a scuffle and threw punches at each other. On yeah, the so they're... Uh, the I'm going to turn down the volume here. Uh, it sounds like Rudy said, I'm about to slap you. Look at him. Which it's, one is which? You'll see. There. Boom. And then runs away. <laughs> In the middle of a game, you In did middle that? middle of a yeah. game, yeah. Dummy. I know. You can't and they're teammates. That yeah. And and that's never that. good. That does make sense. Rudy's such a good player, though. Mm-hmm. Such multiple time defensive, yeah, defensive player, player of the oh, year. Okay. Yeah. well yeah right yeah yeah but still that's a little strange but then again maybe that guy was in his face too much i don't sometimes know sometimes shit happens those sometimes dudes. Shit guys happens. a lot of alpha males on yep. one team shit's not yep. going well and after, there's a way to talk and there's a way not to after Even, the game another player punched a wall and broke his hand too okay so. minnesota's in turmoil right? yeah they're in turmoil <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, this is a it was update just a shit. on it was the a punch in the chest too he's a push update on the dylan mulvaney partnership thing with uh, Bud Light. Dylan Mulvaney, the now trans person. So since that happened, I guess social media on Bud Light's either their Instagram and Twitter has been silent completely. Have you seen the backlashes? No, insane. but have you seen the, the woman who was responsible for this? No. Mm -mm. Okay, so she made a video. So she, she there's a video of the vice president of Bud Light oh, marketing. And she basically said that I was looking, Bud Light's been a brand that's been failing. People haven't been drinking as much of it as there it is. And she was inspired to update the fratty out of touch. <laughs> and it's like, darling, that's Jeez, who drinks Budweiser. You're out of touch. <laughs> Dude, you don't have any friends that drink Budweiser and you don't drink Budweiser. Hey, how fucked is she? Well, it's just, this is the thing. When Bud Budweiser, Light's like, hey, bitch, 
They're not. That's the only reason we're but afloat. But Anheuser Busch, you can't hire somebody that doesn't drink the beer or isn't part of the culture. Okay. Go yeah. back. Go back for a sec. Can you go back to what Rapino say? Rapino? Yeah. Where? Go, go up. Go up. Go up. Up, go up. 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 No, I'm sorry. Down. 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 Let me just see what I want. It. Go down. Go down, please. Right there. Oh. Sue Bird among athletes who signed letter opposing protection of girl opposing protection of girls. But you're off women. topic, brother. All we right, have sorry. no idea what you're talking about. Because <laughs> we're literally talking about Yeah, let's talk about that. Thing, I want right? to get into the Megan Rapinoe thing. All right, we'll go that afterwards. All right. All right but she's ruined the brand like because their their main core audience is just so repulsed by all this. So they're out. Well, because it's- And you got to like, hope that it pays off. Do you know who drinks Budweiser? What are you doing? No, no you're dead. So let, listen to what she says here. She's, It's interesting. Did you see it? Yeah. 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 Basically, she said- I was looking to create an inclusive, bright, uh, bright, uh, you know, message. It's like you are so out of touch. That she calls she calls the fratty thing out of touch. No, you're out of touch. You don't know anybody that drinks Budweiser. You don't know anybody that listens to sports radio. You don't know anybody that works with their hands. You don't know the, which what is America most of middle class America that's, that's drinking right. Bud Light. She comes from also, college. She that's, come, that, from an but area they don't live in a real world. She comes from an area code that hires those people and doesn't. But talk you're also to them tailoring when they're towards in your house. the one percent, which you can't make a business <clears throat> off of. The only time she has contact is when she calls a guy to fix her car or whatever. Do you see that that Mulvaney is new, <clears throat> her new thing, although it's a dude still, her new thing is t tampons? I got no problem with Mulvaney. That's just a business person. They, 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 if that business person wants to do it and funny and got to care, uh, they let they, 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 I'm, Mulvaney's I'm cash and checks. Get, get your money, girl. That's it. I'm saying I don't have any problem with Dylan Mulvaney. I, that, I actually find that person hilarious. Good See, I don't find it funny. Do you know that? Do you know Mulvaney was a, I believe, was in uh, Book of Mormon, really talented uh, uh, musical theater person. Mm. Yeah. So when, when I heard when that he, uh, he was a, when she was a he, um, I believe that he was one of the castmates. Oh wow! Look at this. How about that? You know how talented you have to be for that. I mean, she seems very. So talented, what I'm saying yeah. is that I was saying good to be talented. You're right, talking about somebody who's who's just who's just cash and checks. <laughs> It's it's these out of touch corporations where it's like, what did you think was going to happen? Yeah, that's like how because because they're feeling the feeling the water out on social media, and then they're like, oh shit, this went south so fast. And there's no really coming back from it as a brand like Bud Light. There's not. No, like man. those people that are hardcore, like the middle class America, which makes up the majority of America. You're fucked, man. We'll see if they stick to it because people tend to be damage done. You think so? Damage done. Yeah, because now if they go, all right, we released. Mulvaney, well, then the uproar of social media woke starts coming for you. So then that's a whole nother prompt. I think you just don't say anything like they're doing. Uh, my bad. Hey, check out this new frat pack huh. or whatever the fuck Change you do. Change direction. It, it, or just keep doing your thing. <laughs> I mean, Budweiser will be fine. Budweiser is here to stay, but. And as your bush, yeah. Yeah, but they're, they're, they're definitely probably going to take a small hit. She's like, what do you want me to do? We're a dying brand. They're like, hey, bitch. You, you're doing so much damage to us. <laughs> Worst hire ever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What else you got? All right, Georgie. So on the most recent Mandalorian episode from Star Wars, uh, celebrity appearance, Lizzo and Jack Black were a space royalty couple. That's pretty cool. Just Jack Black is so good in uh, Super Mario. Oh, Jack Black doesn't miss. No, he doesn't miss. So I don't cool. watch those uh, Star Wars, but... People don't either. Them. Yeah, people absolutely love them. Lizzo's pretty badass, isn't she? Yeah. What do you think? She. Uh, it was just a very random celebrity appearance. Like there wasn't. I like those one. Those random. Like you mm. know, Kim Kardashian has a big role in the new um, American American Horror, Horror Story. Story, which is my favorite series. How did Lizzo start? She was a flute player. Was she kind of yeah, a flute music nerd? Yeah, flutey. I think that's what they call them, fluties, right? <laughs> flautist. <a> flautist. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, flautist, yeah. Flute to tear. <laughs> yes. Uh, Early life young. and education. She's How old is she? Like 30? 20, 34. 30, oh, okay. Not that young. Oh, sorry. Liz Bangers. Okay. Yeah, she got big. What does she got, Jim? I don't know. Let me see here. Oh, so, you know, Easter was just yesterday, and there was a parade oh, in okay. Spain, and sadly... The Virgin Mary caught on fire 
during the parade and people were freaking out. That's a obviously That's right. A sign. So I, I mean, did I tell you? So one of the candles they had a bunch of candles on there. Oh, that makes sense. There's candles. Yeah, but I mean, just the symbolism, the, the fact that this happened there. Lucifer is here. That's our world in 2023 right now. I love the Spaniards. They get crazy. Holy oh, shit! Yeah. Someone put out the goddamn fire. They tried. So two of the guys tried. They put it, try, tried it with their hands, and one of them tried to blow on the fire. Hell yeah, smart. Quickly put out with this gasoline. They were like young kids. So, uh, yeah, like you know, I had a 19. very dude. Did you dream? see the Dalai Lama? Oh yeah. No. That, that was no. You didn't see him on Twitter. No. He had, it got so bad. The backlash was so bad. He'd come out. They had to be like, hey, he's always nice to young kids. You're missing the context there, dude. It is. The creepiest thing you will see all year. Oh my God. No, no. you gotta go you gotta go to Twitter and get the real video because they edit it because oh, the mainstream someone has the the raw footage. Dude, oh. this kid comes up, he puts his hand near his crotch, he's touching him, and he goes, Suck my tongue. The little kid goes is like puts it on his tongue. It's the weirdest shit you've ever seen. This isn't like some tr Sam Tripoli shit here. This is real shit, Brian. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> look, he t look where he puts his hand. Look, he asked for a kiss, which is weird from the jump. Then look, asked him to suck his tongue. The kid's like, okay, man. Very strange. No, watch this. No, I can't wait for the weirdest part. I would. And suck my tongue. Oh my. <laughs> If you're a parent, I'd be like, I don't give a fuck who that is. Check out this Showtime Pettis jumping kick off your stupid Shit. desk, old man. That is so Very strange. Funny. Nothing to see here. He's a good was? guy. Nothing to see. What do you think that is? is it uh, there's a word for this, Brian. Hold on, can I see something? Uh, With a hard P. There's no way to defend strange, this. strange, dude. If any... Man, ask my son to suck his tongue. Hey! I don't care who it is. No, dude. you do this. You put your hand there. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Mm. The, the, it got so bad because people were like, uh, what's happening here? Some, someone, some representative was like, oh, like, look at his apology. No, they, it got taken out of context. Okay. No, no, no. no it's very easy to I read. Mean, it was what's done going very on. publicly. You're the Dalai Lama, dude. You're untouchable. I don't know you need to, to look into the that. Dalai Lama a little more. I don't know what to say about that. I know Chris Hansen should be somewhere around there and go, you want to have a seat? Oh, you already are? Perfect. You what are you doing, dude? You want me to suck dude? your tongue? Yeah. You want me to suck your tongue? I'm, I'm sorry, Dolly. You, you want me to suck your tongue? Because I'm of age. You want me to suck your tongue? Oh, you don't want me to? You want little Billy here to do it? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. How weird is that? It's a guy who doesn't have kids. Yeah, defend it. <laughs> Defend it. Defend it. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, re, re, uh, bring up the statement that his team put out. You're like, okay. I just end up dying. I think I would, that, that would just make me want to go like this. Uh, oh, if I'm Dalai Lama, I'd be like, that's computer generated. No, I wasn't even there. Yeah, it's a deep <laughs> fake, deep fake. Let's see, let, let's see the full. He's 87. At 87, he doesn't even know their cell phone's out. Sure. His holiness often teases people he meets in an innocent and playful way. Even in public before cameras, he regrets this incident. Where was the joke where you asked a young boy to suck your tongue? I'm waiting for the punchline, Dolly. He's like so old too, but he probably doesn't realize people, he's being recorded. He's just doing that what shit. Because that's, that's what he Oh, wants. he's never even heard of Bud Light. Yeah, that, that, that is like more a, cringy than that black guy on Blind Date singing to his girl. Yeah, the guy seeing his girl on blind date is funny. That's why I watch it. Yeah, this is terrible. As a parent, you should be outraged. Yeah, it's like a Joe Biden moment. Yeah, I'll give you my tongue if you suck on it. I'm just doing to it also suck I'm my tongue. I'm an old friend. <laughs> Even if the I'm hottest girl in the world friend. was like suck my tongue, I'm like, oh no, I, I, I'll <laughs> do it. But that's I, so weird. Yeah, I've I've never. If you're like mm. the way he did it too, the way he's like. Uh, Puts his tongue hey. out. Oh, so and you think it's his yeah. first time having a kid suck I know, anything dude, on his sucks. body at 87? <laughs> he didn't give a fuck. Back. How weird is that? <laughs> Brian don't know what to do. Damn. 87. 87. Yeah. yeah, okay. That was terrible. 
Well, Keep that away from kids. Oh, all right. So moving on. Utah is the first <clears throat> U.S. state to limit teen social media access. So they basically, if you want to use like TikTok or whatever social media and you're a kid, you have to get parental you know, sign off at if you're under 18. Kids can just the, forge that bullshit, though. I don't know how it works. But, but, but doesn't China do this, too, with the kids on TikTok? They, they limit like certain types of time periods. Yeah, that's access. cool. Yeah. It's a real problem. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know anyone not addicted to their phone. Like, I, I don't know. I know a handful of people who have al alcohol issues or cigarettes. Or I don't know a single person that's not addicted to their phone. Not a single yeah, soul. I, I'm, right, I'm right with you. We get off the show, Brian's on TikTok. I'm not. <laughs> All the time. I'm not. It's weird, right? <laughs> no, it's true. Like and if, my, my, and my, my dad, you know, he's 64. He's not on social media, but he's on his phone reading the news. My mom, like my old, mom at age Just constantly on, on there. Just constantly on there. My mother at 82 is like this. She's on TikTok. This is amazing. Your mom's like, on TikTok? Wow, goes, that's weird. There's so many entertaining things. I'm like, get off. She's like, look at the Dalai Lama. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it's weird because I don't know how they're going to control it. It's smart. There should be something they can do, but I don't know. I think yeah. what happens, though, I don't know about you, but like with anything, if you watch, like you start getting um, a bad feeling from watching it. Like I get, if I'm watching. You just know it's not thing, productive. It's also doesn't make me feel good like it makes me feel like my brain's getting cooked mm -hmm. and once you start realizing that you stop doing it like i don't do it anymore because i don't like the way it makes me feel yeah you still do it <laughs> i really don't <laughs> what on instagram what <laughs> reels you don't think you're on social media at not all? really not not much come I on don't, i don't i don't watch uh tiktok i'm not on tiktok i don't have tiktok yeah but i'll, I'll watch like if i'm on youtube though youtube has those reels Mm -hmm. So I'll go to look at something and I'll be like, well, let me, so I'll watch. You know, there's a big shorts, push. Shorts. There's a big push with uh, younger kids. They're getting flip phones. Yeah. Why is that? Because like anti this, what we're doing, because the, the smart ones know it's going Correct. down a bad road. I sit my daughter. I would love a TikTok would, from her phone. Oh yeah. I would love to get a flip phone. Just the, 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 the only problem is pictures of my kids. I used one with my wife and use her yeah. phone. It'd be cool. Yeah. Dana uses a flip phone. Mm-hmm. Still, to this day, Dana uses flip phone. Dana Who's White. Danny? Dana. Dana White. Dana, Dana White. White does. No kidding. Mm -hmm. hmm. What else you got, Jen? All right, let's do this one real quick. This is Ben Affleck speaking Spanish. Did you guys know he speaks Spanish? Yeah. Fluent, yeah. No, I he's, had no he's idea. so good at Spanish. So yeah. it's going How viral. Is that? This video is going viral. Yeah, he's ridiculous at it. Let me hear it. I was for a while because my girl brought it up. And I was like, Ben Affleck. <laughs> No, I didn't video go. Oh, there it is. No, it's not. It's true. like impeccable, my girl said. Like, flawless Spanish. Really? Where do you learn Spanish? Well, obviously from J-Lo as well. Nah, my girl speaks Spanish. You don't pick up shit with that. But he no, probably... probably J-Lo's like not even fluent in Spanish, I don't think. Is she? She's fluent, but she's not like... It's not, it's not her first language. It, it might as well be Ben's. That's it, Chin, that you keep doing. No, it doesn't, doesn't load, though. Don't let you refresh? Yeah. You can just type in Ben Baffert yeah, speaking Spanish and pop up everywhere. Wait, Georgie sent me something. Yeah, I said this película, si él me dijo, no lo quiero. No, no quiero que tú, tú lo haces. Entonces, el <laughs> personaje de Howard White, Chris Tucker, con, que tenemos con Chris Tucker. Tucker. <laughs> También de, de, Isn't that crazy? Uh, Jorge Raveling. Well, his fucking his accent's great. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. so what my girl said. She like, doesn't sound like a white too. boy mm -hmm. talking yeah. Spanish. Sounds like this motherfucker grew up in Mexico. <laughs> it's crazy, huh? Impressive. Awesome. That's awesome. Uh, one more? How many more? Give me one more. All right, one more. This is an awesome story. So there's a woman that's... According to the article, spent her life savings to pay for her daughter's cancer treatment, oh, breast cool. cancer. And then literally the day, if you know people that are cancer patients, if they, if, you know, they, they get, make they, it past it, they remission. ring a bell. Yeah. They ring a bell when they leave the hospital. Yeah. Uh, so literally the day after she rung the bell, her mom won $2 million That's on a incredible. scratcher. That's so That's cool. Yeah. After tax stuff, they buy mail. But Jesus, <laughs> she took the that, she yeah. took the one lump sum, so one point six million. Good for her. Two, a lot of money. Which she should do. That's so dope. Yeah. yeah, it's a great story. That's huge. Being cancer, getting two mil, not a yeah, bad her daughter. Good spend all her money on her daughter. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, 
Well, uh, I will be with the Dalai Lama Atlanta this Thursday, <laughs> Friday, Saturday. Atlanta, come get you some. Get those peaches out. Do the Dirty Bird the Shuffle. Hulk Atlanta, Hulk. April 13th or 15th. La Jolla Comedy Store, June 2nd through the 4th. Before that, September 29th through October 1st, Brian and I at Skank Fest. Uh, a few tickets left. That's skankfest.com. And then I'm over in Europe, UK, Dublin. So that starts June 15th. It's a theater run. So one show only in every single city. Belfast, Glasgow, uh, Manchester, London, Cardiff, Dublin. Get your tickets to thickboy.com. Dublin, Cardiff. See you at Helium. Uh, we got uh, um, April 20th to the 22nd in Portland. Comedy Zone, Port Charlotte, Florida. Vasani Theater. My May 4th to the May 6th, and then Stress Factory, New Brunswick, New Jersey, May 11th to the 13th. But you're right. doing that thing at Vulcan, too, right? Yeah. That's at Vulcan. Mind's fest. Yeah. All right, kids. Love you. See ya.